So it's time to continue our international rally preview. And I'm delighted to say, joining us the whole way from Scotland as a regular visitor in the month of June. And of course, David Bogey. David, delighted to see you and delighted to talk to you again. Yeah, thanks for having us on. Uh, listen, you have a bit of unfinished business with Donegal. Uh, it's been a while since we had a rally here. We have to go back to 2019. Uh, you went off the road in Knock Alla. Um, so you did. So you have a bit of unfinished business here in the county? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, to be fair, you know, since we, we spun off and, and hit the wall in Nocala, you know, I've been counting down the days to, to, to get back to Donegal. So, yeah, unfinished business and, uh, you know, still kicking myself. It was, you know, my own mistake in, in 2019. And, uh, yeah, it'd be, it'd be great to, to go back and have a nice clean run uh, next weekend. Okay. Uh, I'll not bring it up in the rest of the interview again, David, but but listen, we're celebrating 50 years here in Donegal of the, of the International Rally. Maybe you might be able to tell us if you think back to when you first heard of Donegal and when you, when you first came to the county for the rally, David. Uh, yeah, I think I've heard about it for years and years. You know, the Donegal name, it just it speaks for itself. So, you know, my, my first visit was back in, in 2007 when I went across as, as a spectator to, to watch the rally uh, when Sebastian Loeb was doing it in the, in the Citroen World Rally car. So, yeah, I think it's fair to say since then, you know, the bug had, had well and truly bit. And, uh, yeah, I was determined to do the rally after that. And uh, obviously, of course, you have won on several occasions here, two-time winner of the of the now former National Rally, David. Yeah, we've been lucky enough to, to, to lift the trophy two times now. Um, on, on the first occasion, unfortunately, that the, the rally was cut short. Um, and, and the second occasion, we, we managed to do all three days. So, yeah, hey, it'd be fantastic to, to get a third uh, a modified win. But... You know, when you have a look at the entry list, it's just, it's it's unbelievable. So, yeah, we'll certainly need to be our best to be fighting at the sharp end. Yeah, what's, what about the car this year? Uh, obviously, it's the Escort. Uh, we've seen it here a num number of years ago. Have you tinkered much with the car over the last couple of years? And what are you expecting out of the car come next weekend, David? Uh, yeah, the car's pretty much tried and tested, to be fair. Um, you know, it's pretty much ready to go at, uh, at this stage, so... Um, yeah, for, for me, you know, it's just about getting back into rear wheel drive and Irish tar. And, uh, you know, as I say, we really have to be at our best. So, you know, we've, we've done all the preparation now. So, yeah, we're just hoping to get a good clean run. Yeah. Did you manage to take any boxes of your prep last weekend in Toronto, David? Yeah, we did. You know, we experimented with, with some different tyres. And um, for me, you know, I've, I've recently been driving a, a McGee Motorsport Mini World Rally car, which is obviously a right-hand drive and, and four-wheel drive, and I've been using that in gravel. So, you know, we, we made a couple of changes to the car, which was great, but, you know, more so it was about getting me back into the groove again. And, um, you know, unfortunately, we didn't finish the rally, but, um, you know, we were, were you know, feeling very comfortable in the car. So, you know, that bodes well for next weekend. How different is the tarmac here in Donegal compared to, to, to obviously in Scotland and other rallies in the UK, David, that you would tackle? It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's class. It's class. You know, I just, I love, you know, the Donegal tarmac, you know, very abrasive, you know, in June where the weather's, you know, usually, usually quite favourable and warm. So, yeah, I, I love the stages. Very different to say, you know, a rally that would run, say, at the back end of the year in Scotland, which would be quite, you know, wet and uh, and difficult, you know. In, in Donegal in June, the grip levels are so high. And, uh, of course, the overall pace because of that is so much greater. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a fantastic time of year. Yeah. Where would you rate the Donegal Rally? Because obviously you've taken on rallies in Europe and, and across the UK and further afield, David. So where does where does it sit with you? Uh, for, for me, it's number one. It, it sits right at the top. You know, of course, we've got the Mull Rally in Scotland, which is absolutely fantastic and a very close second. But, you know, for, for, for me, Donegal, you know, it's got some fantastic memories from being across there. The organisation, the atmosphere, the buzz, the stages, just just everything. It just For, for me, it ticks all the boxes. So... Yeah, I think, uh, you know, if I could do one rally, that, that would be the one. Yeah. Uh, stages, of course, here in Donegal on, on the Friday, they're going to be around the Newton Cunningham and the Shown area. Then on Saturday, we have a couple of the big classics, Fanad and Nogales, and then the Saturday, Garton, Atlantic Drive and High Glen on the Sunday. Uh, they're all big stages here, David, but what's what's the standout ones for you? Yeah, I, th I think, you know, that the, the iconic stages are all fantastic in, in their own right. Uh, you know, Nokala, fantastic stage. You know, the high speed, you know, section to begin with the stage, it's 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 incredible. So, yeah, Nokala is great. You know, but as I say, they all offer something. And uh, as you say, I think uh, the Friday stages, you know, particularly this year, are, are going to be tricky. 
And, uh, you know, for us, it's important that we get a clean Friday and we're, you know, there and there about. We don't want to fall too back out of the races, but at the same time, we need to be in kind of striking distance. So, a uh, clean Friday is, you know, what I'm looking for at this stage. Yeah. What's your week like in Donegal? Uh, would you do the wreck of the weekend before? Do you arrive in the county maybe early off, off rally week to get your, your preparations, um, I suppose, organised and, and finished with before Friday? How does it work yeah. for you, David? Yeah, we, we, we go across on, on the Monday afternoon. Uh, with accommodation from the Monday to the Monday. So, yeah, crossing the Monday afternoon, we'll recce Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then, of course, rally Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, you know, it's it's a big week. It's uh, it's a hard week, but, you know, at the same time, it's it's an enjoyable week. As the week goes on and you get closer to the rally start and, and the buzz intensifies, it's, uh, yeah, it makes for a special, special week. Well, yeah. What about the pace, then? Do you have to be on it on the Friday, or, or, or can you just navigate your way through the first day and see what happens then on the Saturday, or is it on full throttle from the go? Yeah, I think it'll have to be, to be fair. When you see the entry this year, it's, uh, yeah, you know, we can't we can't fall too back out of the races on the Friday, as I say. But, you know, when, when you see the lineup of, of crews and, and equipment, you know, everybody's going to be ready for this. So, yeah, I think that the pace on the Friday, you know, especially, is, is going to be crazy. So, you know, I, I love to drive across the finish ramp at the Mount Eregal on the, on the Sunday. So, yeah, you need to keep it between the edges. Yeah. It would be nice as well, just finally then, David, since we're marking the 50th anniversary of the International, that if, uh, if you as the Scottish visitor would be would be crowned the modified champion. Hey, it'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get too excited. <laughs> you know, it's, as I say, it's going to be a long, hard rally. Yeah. Hey, regardless, we'll be giving it our all, that's for sure. You know, we, yeah. we can guarantee that. And uh, hey, it's very much looking forward. Listen, David, we look forward to seeing you back in Donegal next week. Thanks for talking to us. Good man. Thank you very much.